All right, everyone. We're here live at Daring Estate for the our eighth annual vintage auto show. One of the best events <laughs> of the entire year, and we just got started with the year. I'm Dianelli, and this is Tamara. Hi, everyone. And, and we're here to show you guys around for those of you who couldn't make it. All right, let's 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 see what you guys want to see, which are the cars. Here are some classics. We got going on here. We're going to take you around. If anyone has any questions while you're here, please feel free to ask. If there's any cars you're hoping to check out, get a closer look of, please feel free to let us know. And we're happy to, to get some closer looks. Look how cool that is. So full disclosure, I know nothing of cars, except that they're pretty. I so, know a little bit of something. And that's why our friend Tamara is here with us uh, to help us along the way. Here are some of our international harvester cars that we'll come back to in a minute. Um, some interesting facts about those. So let's take you around the estate. All right. Here we go. Oh, and this is a pretty truck. Very nice. Tamara, what's your favorite car here? So I am a very big history fan. So hands down, my favorite this year is going to be the International Scout truck that we have. Oh. It is absolutely my favorite. But if you asked me last year, it was this guy. Oh, This yes. one is your speed racer car. And you can't not love this car. Very cool. So those Let's are my one and look. two for this year. Oh, and here's our lovely director, Jennifer. Hi joining us live all right jennifer is this the car you're gonna get next it's either this one the healy or oh, the I healy really is like nice well, blue roadmaster Ooh, very nice <laughs> those white wall tires are like pretty awesome i'll take one of each thank you please okay. and thank you <laughs> oh very nice and it's such a beautiful day today I love that we have so many new cars out here this time. Yeah. Like first, time first time owners. Oh, that's a nice Buick. And I only know it's a Buick because it literally says Buick. So there's no guessing there. <laughs> no guessing. <laughs> All right. And what we got here. Very cool. Very nice. And this next one is a pretty awesome one also. And for those of you just signing on, we're just here live, taking everyone through our vintage auto show who couldn't make it. Unfortunately, we had to be at limited capacity due to COVID. We want to make sure everyone stays safe, but we still wanted to bring everyone this experience. Now, my dad's a fan of this brand. Corvettes oh, this one. Oh, are Corvettes, literally yes. the winner for him, hands down. So he'd Ooh. love this one. Check it out. She is a beaut. Oh. Hi dad, if you're watching. <laughs> this is this is my my shout out for the dad here. For the dad. For all the dads. Oh. It is a beaut. Again, if anyone has any questions or if there's a car that they know will be here today that they want to see. You know, please feel free to let us know. If you want us to ask any of the owners any questions, we're happy to do so. And I'm sure they'll love to answer. Ooh, another Corvette. Right? Am I right, Tamara? This is a Corvette? Yes, <laughs> this mm -hmm. is? Oh, yeah. thank you. It's a different year. <laughs> but, I mean, Corvette is cool any year. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, and this is what I love. I love the Mustangs. Very cool. Oh, look at the fuzzy dice in the middle. You can't have a Mustang without the fuzzy dice. It's like a rite of passage to it have really like is. fun things on your rear view. Oh my goodness. Let's check this out. Oh, and got the little dog. Oh, the Coca Cola cans. Very classic. Very cool. 
Oh, hi, Alfredo. Good to see you on here. Check out the engine on this oh. one. Now this is why people love a Corvette. Yes. Because you can do things like this. Yes. Oh, very cool. And look at that and red. Look at that red interior. So nice. pretty. So very pretty. Let's check it out. Ooh, how pretty is that, everyone? I will definitely take one of these, please. <laughs> and we got some folks dressing up. Very cool. And it's just a glorious day today at the Daring Estate. It really is. I mean, really, what day isn't a glorious day at the Daring I mean, Estate? When you have this view, you can't really go Hi. home, right? Hi, we're just going live right now. Oh, nice. Would you like to say hello? Of course, I'd love to say hello. I love the Daring. I miss the Daring. Oh. It's Christmas time. Oh, we Although miss everyone too. Awesome. awesome. And what was your favorite car here today? Oh, my God. I like the yellow and the blue one. Well, the yellow and blue one. That's the way I call them. Don't worry. The yes, the, the yellow and the blue ones. <laughs> the pretty ones. <laughs> the pretty ones. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, Isn't that cute? How they did the little love little it. food tray. I love it. No, and the whole day you guys planned a gorgeous day. Oh. You know, we have some pull with food. like the nature gods. Yes, yeah, thank you, cool. thank you so much. Enjoy your day. All right. So they even have luggage. Is that a '64 half convertible Mustang? I don't know. Do we know, Tamara? Let's let's get a closer it's a look. '65. It is a 1965 convertible Ford Mustang. Yeah, so they're, oh yeah, 65, off. yeah. If this is the one you're referring to, then yes. It's as Tamara said, because I know there is another Mustang over there. So here we go. That is the type of Mustang that is here. Very cool. All right. Oh, and my other favorite, the, the Camaro. The seats? Check no, I didn't. Seats. Oh, no, no. You can actually see Let's the check horses. the details. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, you can. Very cool. There's so much detail in it's these It's all old cars. about the details. You never it's see this all kind about of detail, the details. Though. Very cool. And so my other favorite are the is the Camaro. I love a, a good Camaro. The Z28. Love being there, missing home, but glad to see this. Oh, we're so glad to bring it to you, Douglas. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, this next one's gonna be fun, you guys. You gotta get ready for this one. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, should I do like a nice big reveal? <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? We're, we actually have a distance to walk to it. But... Oh, okay, okay. So we'll move fast, guys. Yeah, there is a little space in between just to keep everyone safe. Checking inside. Yes, the 69Z28 Camaro. I got to learn to drive with a classic car. Oh, really? So, what yeah, classic? A Chevy Nova. Ooh, yeah. what year? I think it was a 60-something. A 60-something, Because it was actually okay. my mom's car when she was in high school uh -huh. that she took to college. And it was just still clunking around, still running when it was time for me to learn to drive. So that nice. was technically my first car. Very nice. And check this out. It might not be a car, but it's definitely a mode of transportation. We love our Vespa. A Vespa and endearing blue. Just gorgeous. And Am I the cute. only one that as a kid, I actually wanted to drive and ride in a sidecar? Listen, I think we all <laughs> did, okay? Especially after Indiana Jones, the last crusade. Yeah, the, yeah. it just looks so fun. Yep, yep. It does. It looks like a lot of fun. Not something I would drive in, like, traffic Miami. No, no, no. No, no. You literally go, like, out the side of one of those things. How cool. Very cool. I a love Suzuki? that we have motorcycles this year. Yeah, that is kind of awesome. Is such an awesome addition. It really is. we got to do a shout-out for our, for our motorcycles. 1967 Bridgestone. Nice. Oh, and this. What is this, Tamara? Do we know a this Healy? one? 
a Healy. Oh, this is the one everyone's been talking about. An Austin Healy. The lights are like so awesome on this. Place. No, it really is beautiful. Oh, wow. Very cool. If I didn't answer anyone's questions, please feel free to ask again because the glare from the sun doesn't let me see the screen too well. Oh, now look at those rims. Those are some nice rims. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's get a close-up of rims, right? People like rims. Awesome. Convertibles were the car of my dreams at one point. Yeah. And then as... My husband says they're beautiful, but death traps. Yes, because then you imagine <laughs> imagine what happens when you don't have a solid Yeah. Room. I mean, just look at that view just like that. Imagine coming in a car like this, getting to look at Biscayne, the beautiful Biscayne Bay from the boat basin. Just awesome. The fish agree. They're jumping in the water. Yeah, too bad. What about our, our manatees? I was hoping some came up. We're actually pretty flat today. I haven't seen any. I saw one early this oh, morning. Is I there one there? Back. There's one right in the middle. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, right we're taking a break from the cars to see if we see any manatees. Everyone loves a manatee. Right oh, I see it. There's at least three. All right, we'll take a second and get back to the cars. There they go. Yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't been to the Deering Estate, Definitely, uh, you must stop by and pay visit to our manatees. It's a unique experience. It really is. They blow bubbles. They do barrel rolls. All right, what do we got here? Another Corvette, right? Am I right? I always go based off the little insignia. Oh, yeah, this is. It's just, hey, hey wow. I called it. 1967. It looks like what you expect the silver bullet to look like, right? Like when you say silver bullet, you think a car like this. Well, that definitely does look like a silver bullet. Oh, I love that little red trimming. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Hi, Jean. Hi. Jean, do you want to say hi to the camera? We're live right now. No? Okay. <laughs> okay, just a quick hi. So, good to see you here. So this is Jean. She helps us. She's been helping us the last few years, right? For years now. Our eighth yes. annual. Yes. We, we absolutely love Jean. She <laughs> is a seamless part of our vintage auto show. And oh. without her, I don't think we can marshal these cars no. in here like oh, this absolutely. every year. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jean. Thank you for all you do for us. Well, it's a pleasure to be invited back. And it's a beautiful venue and it just fits so well with our antique car club hobby. It does. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank awesome. you so much, You're Jean. Welcome. See you soon. Okay. All right. Oh no, those are different seats. Right? Oh, the seatbelt goes in the back or something, right? Well, like this part here? Yeah. Maybe. I think. Maybe. That's a little... Oh, it's for the headrest. Headrest. Okay, okay. You see, guys, we're trying. We know a little... We, you know, Tamara knows more than me, but... Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Although, if my husband's watching, he's going to be very upset with me because he's tried teaching <laughs> me a million times. But then, you know what you do? You say... Be upset for the first half of this video, but then the last car that I'm going to show you makes everything worth it. Oh, awesome. Well, now I'm excited. Oh, the Mach 1 Mustang. That just sounds dreamy. That blue is really, really nice. Oh, let's take a look at the engine. Ooh. All right. And this is my favorite color, this next car. It's a really nice color. As you can see, a lot of people are here <laughs> looking at this one. Got everyone's you attention. You can't go wrong with this one. Oh, the Shelby. Yes. Oh. You don't know your cars if you don't know this one. No. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's one of my husband's favorite is the Shelby. Yep. Good old Carol Shelby. If you haven't seen Ford versus Ferrari, you need to. It is a great movie. Showing that history. And we got our good friends from Sports Grill feeding our guests and some of our staff. We love Sports Grill. All right, now let's go. Now I think we're going to the car you were mentioning, right? Yes. So this is my all-time favorite this year because it is a great nod to our Deering history. International Harvester is a huge part of what really 
explains the Deering legacy. And a lot of that has to do with how successful they are as a family and their family's business, which is one of the best of the best in automotives. So we're coming up on it now. Oh, but really quick, our wonderful friends at the Deering Estate Foundation. So if you're on site or even if you're not, make sure to check out our good friends, Nina and Michelle and Dee in the back. Deering Estate Foundation. So if you're here, they have these cookies. Oh, cookies. Yum. And make sure to sign up and become a member with them. You get wonderful benefits being a member with the Deering Estate Foundation. And All you get right. to call this place your second home when yes. you're a member. So this is always of the good. All right. So now back to the cars. So this is an International Scout. Collectors know this, this truck. Which it one? Is the left or the right? The left. Okay. The right is our very own International Harvester truck. It's very a part cool. of the Deering collection and it stays normally in our on-site storage. Mm -hmm. We bring it out specifically for events like this one. Very it cool, is so you can see. a fun favorite for all of our guests and museum lovers. Mm -hmm. But to That's the left, right. our bright Deering Blue International Scout. This is my favorite this year. Awesome, and why is it your favorite, Tamara? You have a long, interesting story that can be told with International Harvester. Mm -hmm. And the collector of this car could actually probably write a book enough. himself on all the interesting things that happened to shape that company. But for us, it is the simple fact that it is Deering business savvy at its best. That means that as one of the last, I, I want to say the last, styles produced by International yeah, Harvester, Scout. the Scout is one of the most collectible IH brands today. There it is. This does look like a fun little truck. It is. I love it. And so would you say this, so this one is unique also in the sense that they probably customized it a bit? Like the this owner? This one has been a little bit customized, which, you know, hey, why not, if I right? Had it, I probably would do it too. My dad would probably say something different to that. <laughs> but it is probably one of those trucks that people just wish they could get their hands on. Mm -hmm. And if you have the opportunity to take one and run with it and make it your everyday vehicle, you're going to do it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you all for tuning in to our live session here at the 8th Annual Vintage Auto Show. I encourage everyone to stay tuned because there might be a fun little scavenger hunt on our stories based on the video that you're seeing today. So thank you all for joining in and we look forward to seeing you at the Deering Estate soon. Have a wonderful day.